Kiki Trouble. Kipper has a magic adventure he doesn't like, and he learns that it is not a good idea to get cross with the magic key. Today I read a book called Key Trouble in the author reading tree series. This is stage nine, and this is the twelfth book. It is the series is created by Robert Kunt and Alex Brichter. I'll start reading it. Grandma had come to stay. She had presents for the children. She had bought each of them a super squirter. Oh no! Groaned Dad. A super squirter. That's brilliant, said Chip. Thank you, Gran. The tutor went outside to play with the super squirters. Wait for me, called Gran. Dad and Mum watched them. Just look at Gran, said Dad. It's like having a naughty girl to stay. Ran out of surprise for Mum and Dad. She has some photograph albums. What are these? Asked Dad. Old photographs, said Gran. I thought you might like them. Old photographs of what? Asked Dad. Some of the photographs of Mum when she was a little girl. Look at Mum, said Beth. She was quite pretty when she was little. And look at Gran, said Chip. She was quite young once upon a time. Beth and Chip went out to play. Grand showed Kipper some more photographs. Here I am when I was a little girl," said Grand. "Why is everything gray colored?" asked Kipper. "Was it all like that in those days?" "No," laughed Grand. "Only the photographs." Kipper put the television on. There was an old film about two men moving a piano. That's funny," he thought. "They are gray colored too. They're just like Grand's old photographs." The men made Kipper's laugh. The glass Kipper turned off the television. He went to find Biff, but she wasn't in her room. And Kipper saw that the magic key was glowing. Oh no! He thought, "I'm all by myself." The magic took Kipper into a strange gray room. Everything is gray, thought Kipper. This is just like the film I saw on television. Two men were trying to move a piano. They didn't see Kipper. There is no color," said Kipper. "Don't like all this gray. I want to go back home. This is a silly adventure." He banged the key on the wall. "Take me back," he said crossly. "Or、we'll、put some color in this adventure." The men were still pushing the piano. They had to get it through a door. "Come and help us," they called. Kipper didn't want to, but he went across to help. "We have to take the piano outside," said the big man. Then we have to lift it down some steps," said the little man. "Now we'll take the back," said the big man, "and you take the front," said the little man. "All right," said Kipper. He squeezed past the piano and got ready to help. "When I call poo, you poo," said the big man. "Poo!" he shouted. Kipper tried to pull the piano. Suddenly, it shot forward and slid down the steps. Kipper grabbed the top and jumped on. The piano ran down the street. It went faster and faster. Kipper hung on to the top. Now look what you've done! Shouted the big man to the little man. It's not my fault," said the little man. "I told you not to push hard," said the big man. Suddenly, the piano came to a stop. It crashed into a hedge. Kipper flew over the hedge and landed in a soft garbage chair. "Hey!" shouted the big man. "Look what you've done to our piano!" Kipper was cross. This is a silly adventure," he shouted. "I hate it." He took the magic key out of his pocket and banged it again. "I don't like you," he yelled. "I want to go home." Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The magic took Kipper home. Kipper was pleased the adventure was over, but the adventure was not over. Something had gone wrong. Kipper was a gray color. He looked like an old photograph of himself. Kipper did not notice this. He put down the magic key and went to find Biff and Chip. They were in the garden with Gran. They all gasped when they saw Kipper. Oh, said Biff, something's gone wrong. You look gray like an old photograph. At the moment, Mum and Dad came out of the house. This is terrible, said Chip. Do something to stop them, Gran. They mustn't see Kipper. Leave it to me, said Gran. You take Kipper inside. Gran picked up a super squirter. She ran towards Mum and Dad. Gran shouted, "Mum, don't you dare! We're not in the mood for this." "But I am," laughed Gran. 
he began to squirt Mum with water. Brown chased Mum and Dad round the garden. Biff and Chip grabbed Pipper by the arms and took him inside. Good old Brown, said Biff. Now let's get Kipper upstairs. Ow, stop it. What's wrong? cried Kipper. Kipper looked at himself in the mirror. It's the key, he said. I didn't want to go on an adventure. Now the magic has gone wrong. What are we going to do? asked Biff. Kipper began to cry. I don't want to look like an old photograph, he moaned. Brown came upstairs. Mum and Dad are not too pleased with me, but I've made them a cup of tea, she said. You were great, said Chip. But what can we do, asked Biff. We can't let Mum and Dad find out about the magic key. Chip had an idea. Kipper clothes look great, he said. Get him to change his clothes. Kipper went to his room. He put on a red top. Oh no, said Chip. Your top turning gray. You still like an old photograph. Just then they heard Dad coming upstairs. Do something, his Biff. We mustn't let Dassy Kipper. Ran grabbed some sheets from the bed. Pretend you're playing spooks, she said. It's dinner time in ten minutes, said Dad. Dad went back downstairs. He looked cross. Oh dear, said Mum. What's the matter? It's grand, said Dad. Now what's she up to? asked Mum. Playing spooks, said Dad. Whatever will she get up to next? It was time for dinner. Grand and the children came upstairs. Have you watched for him? asked Dad. And where is Kipper? asked Mum. Well, said Biff, we've made a little surprise for you. Kipper came into the room. Mum and Dad looked at him. Oh, Kipper, gasped Mum. Oh, God, goodness me, said Dad. Is this I, your idea of a joke? You look so different, said Mum. What do you think, said Biff. Grand has made him look like a man in an old film. We love it when Grand comes to stay, said Chip. Isn't she clever? Uh, yes, said Dad. Mum frowned at Kipper. Your mouth is a funny color, she said. Show me your tongue. Oh, no, whispered Chip. His tongue is gray. Kipper put out his tongue. Oh dear, said Mum, look at your grey tongue. You must be ill. I'm calling the doctor. After dinner, Mum sent Kipper upstairs. Put on your proper clothes, she said. The doctor can see you in half an hour. Oh no, said Biff. Now Mum and Dad will find out about the magic key. Do something, Grand. I don't know what to do, said Grand. Kipper went upstairs. My friendship went with him. Kipper picked up the magic key. I'm sorry, said Kipper. I didn't mean to be nasty to the key. The key gave a little tiny blow. At that moment, all Kipper's color came back. I'm glad I don't have to go to the doctor, said Kipper. The magic worked just in time. I think it was always going to, said Biff. You mean it wouldn't have let Mum and Dad find out, said Chip. I don't think it was, said Biff. Do you? That was the book I read, but I just still agree with Kipper. He's going on magic adventure all alone, and he's still young. That's my opinion. I think the magic key did it wrong this time. The magic key was not supposed to let him go on a heavy adventure carrying a piano. I also want to hear your opinion about this book, if you like it or just fun or hate it. And so far I've been reading almost every video that I read. Key, I read Author Reading Tree series. But if you have any other book recommendations, I just want your comment. So please let me below if you can. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.